When a study or report is released, it's been a common tactic of both the media and anti-gun groups to claim findings that aren't in the report at all. Perhaps they're counting on nobody reading the report, or perhaps they don't understand it themselves. But either way, it's up to people like you and me to set the record straight. A glaring example is this New York Times article. Let me read you the first paragraph. A report released by the FBI on Wednesday confirms what many Americans had feared, but law enforcement officials had never documented. Mass shootings have risen drastically in the past half dozen years. Now, the FBI did in fact release a report, but it wasn't on mass shootings. If the New York Times had bothered to read the report, they would have found this in the introduction. This is not a study of mass killings or mass shootings, but rather a study of a specific type of shooting situation law enforcement and the public may face. Their assertion that law enforcement has never documented these numbers is also funny when you consider that this is not a report, but an update of last year's Bureau Bulletin. Also, there have been more than a dozen studies by the FBI and BJS on this topic since 99, as well as an exhaustive 2012 study by the NYPD. The New York Times article was the least accurate, but they weren't alone. The media in general ran with the story, which was factually incorrect. So what was in the report? Well, it took a look at active shooter events that occurred between 2000 and 2013 using the federal definition for active shooter event. An individual actively engaged in killing or attempting to kill people in a confined and populated area. Except they removed the term confined to include open air events. Now this differs significantly from the definition of mass killing or mass shooting. Now while the report contained 160 active shooter events, only 64 qualified as mass shootings accounting for 418 deaths over the 14-year period. That's an average of 4.6 events and 29.8 deaths per year. Now that sounds like a lot, but let's put that into perspective. The FBI data shows more than 20 times more people are killed with fists and feet than with a firearm in a mass shooting. Now the report does show an increasing trend in active shooting events, showing that they roughly doubled over the last 14 years. However, one has to be very careful of their date range to produce these results. For instance, if you include 98 and 99, the graph would look quite different. A broader view does in fact show an increase, but one of less than 1% per year, a number backed up by the broader scoped NYPD report. This data also shows that the 96 assault weapons ban had no effect on the trend and no effect on the number of casualties per event. There's an interesting quote in the 2012 FBI Bureau Bulletin that didn't make it into the 2013 report. Also important are the actions that civilians take to protect themselves during the three or more minutes that it takes for police to arrive. It's worth noting that citizens stopped a number of these events. In 90 of the 160 events, the killer stopped the attack of his own volition. Of the other 70, 45 were stopped by police, unarmed civilians stopped 21, and legally armed civilians stopped five. Now that may seem like a small number, but it's incredibly significant when you consider that the vast majority of these attacks occur in gun-free zones. The value of these reports is to educate and guide policy with the goal of preventing or mitigating future events. The misrepresentation of these reports by the media and gun control groups undermines that goal and ultimately leads us away from real solutions.